Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and it is official. Trump, he's got the vice presidency in his hands. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, for months, like every conservative news outlet, or frankly, every news outlet, right, we have speculated who was going to be former President Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate in the 2024 presidential election. Now, the names have been bandied about, and you know them, Tim Scott, Marco Rubio, Doug Burgum, Elise Stefanik. Uh, those are just four, you know, Byron Donalds, the fifth one that's on the list. And there's a few, two others. And so Trump has narrowed his field down to these people. Dr. Ben Carson, there's the sixth one. Not on the list, Governor Christy Nome. That whole puppy thing, that ruined her chances. Now, I will say this. I believe, to me, it comes down to Tim Scott and Marco Rubio, and I'll tell you why, but I'll tell you how he made it official, first of all. First of all, he sent the paperwork to these people to actually vet them. So the vetting process has begun. We know who the final seven are now. But who's it going to be? To me, I think the top two are going to be Senators uh, Tim Scott and Marco Rubio. I'd be fine with either one. Although, you know, on this channel, I've been pulling really hard for Tim Scott, and I really want it to be him. But I would be, I love Marco Rubio, and I'd be fine with him as well. What they all have in common, except for Bergam and, and Carson, is they're young. They're young and that's a big deal because, you know, right now Trump is, you know, he's be pushing 77 if when he gets elected, you know what I mean? It's not much younger than Biden. Got a lot more energy than Biden. Doesn't present himself as old as Biden, but, you know, time, time catches everybody. And you want to make sure you have somebody in that position that's A, smart enough and ready to go on day one be young enough, and C, can, can attract a younger demographic, can attract some female voters, can attract some minority voters, can attract some voters that we struggle with. And I think Scott and Rubio represent two people who can do that, um, and I think are two people capable of being future presidents. Now, I do think Byron Donalds is capable of being a future president as well. I really do. I think he's a little young. And I think he's got a ways to go, you know, learning the ropes in D.C., although he would take apart Kamala Harris on the debate stage, which is another factor I think about when picking a vice president. The truth is I'd be happy with any of the people on this list really not pushing for Burgum. I think I, I would probably be disappointed with Burgum. I don't think he brings, and it's not because he's a bad guy. He's very smart, very talented. But I don't think he brings anybody new into the fold. It's like, if you weren't voting for Trump, is Doug Burgum going to be the thing that pulls you into the fold? And you say, oh, well, now that Doug Burgum's on the ticket, I'm going to vote for him. Maybe. Maybe some people like that that steady hand, that calm demeanor. It could be. But it, it just, like Mike Pence, I feel it's a personality clash with former President Trump. They're just not the same type of people, which, again, for some people may be good, but for me, I think you got to have somebody with the energy that Trump has. And to me, Scott, Stefanik, Donalds, Rubio, they kind of all match that. Ben Carson, I think, too laid back, you know, a little older, very laid back, very calm. I think Vice President Harris, I hate to say it, would eat him alive on the debate stage. I think Burgum would get eaten alive by Harris on the debate stage. So the list is good. I've narrowed it down to my top four which is Rubio, Scott, uh, Stefanik, and Donalds, and really to my top two, which is Rubio and Scott, Scott being my number one choice um, for a variety of reasons. Although Rubio, they're like one and one A, because they're both really ready to go right now if they had to be president. They could both do it. That is my number one qualification. I, I prefer to pick a senator or a governor. That's me. Like, it has to be somebody that's had that leadership ability. Again, I always ask you guys, I want to know what you think. Who's your pick? Do you like this list? Do you want to see other names on the list? 
again, it's a done deal. I mean, this is who it is, but I want to know what you think. And who from this list would you pick? Are you with me with Tim Scott and Marco Rubio, or do you have somebody else in mind? Let me know in the comments.